looking at here is what the Israeli government prepared for the infrastructure of the community that was to be built by the people on an individual basis. In the far background, we have the town that was established in 1976, uh, and that was governmental housing for rent. And the idea was to prepare a pre-planned community, which uh, included uh, built-in electrical lines, sewage, water, the roads, lighting and everything and then the people were supposed to come and according to some agreed plan build their own private homes which overlook the very tip of the sinai off to the right here the beautiful bay just below us the beautiful beaches and this was going to be the the future of sharm el sheikh right over here when we started dealing with architects and preparing the plans by 1978 uh, was the camp david breakthrough and uh, the sadat's visit Actually, in the end of 77, I think it was Sadat's visit. So everybody was holding back and waiting to see what would happen. And then when it became evident that the area was going to go back, there was a complete freeze. There he is, visitors at first and guests. The Bedouin, the people of the desert, the people who really, this is their home from time immemorial. And I've tried my best to be sensitive to this reality. And although they're people who work according to a different clock and a different philosophy in life, they're very special people. And uh, I've had some very close relationships with the Bedouins that I uh, have gone to know through work, through uh, meetings. I have great respect for them. And uh, I think it's very important that uh, the Bedouin are taken into consideration during this whole process because they're going to be affected no less than the people that have to leave, and maybe even more so. Sinai is the playground of Israel. It's where the whole, a whole generation of young Israelis have been able to feel footloose and feel free. And the Sinai was like a, a place where young Israelis would go and just come down, not only young Israelis, families to older people, just to get away from that pressure. This is the first experience in history where people have come here for purely peaceful reasons to live with nature, develop nature, and offer nature to the world at large. And it should be appreciated, especially by the people who are coming to take over the area. We have the most beautiful coral reefs in the world, an untouched area where all the uh, proximity all come together and create an unbelievable experience for the snorkeler, for the diver. This all combines for an unbelievable experience, a recreational one, an educational one, an emotional one. Okay, come and see my world. I see myself as a victim of the peace process, I think perhaps even more so than anybody else, and simply because what I do and my livelihood and what my life is, is completely 100% connected to this region. Well, we came here 10 years ago and, and now we have to leave. <laughs> 